Crafty Mommy from Family Friendly Gaming. Um, we're going to show you how to do a vase today. Um, put a little artificial flowers in it. Um, has your conversational hearts in it as a way to anchor them in the jar. And another thing, of course, this can be a Valentine's theme thing, um, flower vase. Since they're silk flowers, you don't have to worry about them making you sneeze. So we're just going to take a vase of some kind, whatever size you choose. Um, this one's more tall and narrow. This one's kind of short and chubby. Um, this one we use the old, the bigger hearts that are the been around forever. They taste nasty. In my opinion, everyone has their own opinion to anchor that one. And this one we're going to use Sweet Tart Heart just because, you know, this is something that that I'm more likely to eat in the end. But, of course, not after it's been sitting out all month. So, you're just going to go ahead and, ooh, those are kind of dusty. You're going to put them in the jar. Then straighten them out. Oop. I didn't realize it'd be so much extra powder to come out from there. So now you have them all in your little vase. Um, then you're going to take your stalks of flowers. Um, these are little miniature roses. You can use whatever kind of flowers you choose. These are more of a maybe a salmon or coral color. Um, I'm going to take wire cutters and we're going to trim down these stems. Um, the stems on these are marked every so many, in, I think every inch or so. But I'm going to start, get the bulk of it off, and then of course this is still going to be way too tall. So just come up and keep snipping. Um, so you have your first set in here now. Well, you can kind of see how they went in there. I'm going to trim the next one down. The stems are kind of hard to get them to clip off. Okay, we're going to stick this other one down in here, too. Kind of arrange them where the roses are intertwined, so you kind of makes it look more like one, like they're more, not so much, you don't want them to look separated, but kind of work with them until you kind of get them looking more like an arrangement. And you may have to take them out, looks like you, need, you might need to trim just a little bit more off this one. Now you have your flowers in there. Then you're, I think our cameraman wants to, oh, it looks like he wants to play in my flowers. I don't think he thought I did a good enough job there. Okay, now the cameraman's done playing. Where you have your lip in the vase, you're gonna take ribbon, now, the, what I, I just used uh, satin ribbon on this one. This is wired ribbon that I'm putting on this one. Um, wired ribbon isn't really my favorite kind of ribbon to use, but I was having to try to find something to match the flowers. And you to make sure you give yourself way more than what you actually need. That way, when you're making your bow, you'll have enough. Okay. And first we're just going to cinch it down like so. Now I'll have to turn it back around to tie the bow because I can't tie it backwards. Um, but just like you're tying your shoes, a bow for anything. Make your bow.
And of course now you can, once you have your bow made, you can cinch it. And since this is wired ribbon, you can kind of play with it. Make your bows stick up more. Just kind of keep manipulating them until they're about the same. And then what I like to do is just take your, but you have it where you want it. Fold it in half. And cut your ribbon at an angle. That way you have a nice little neat point. Do the other on the other side this way. No, I think I just did those backwards. Okay, there. We'll fix that real quick. Should have cut the other direction. But, you know, that's one of those easy things to fix. Like so. And then you just keep pulling on it, keep manipulating it till it's how you want it to look. And there you go. For your non-sneezing, no allergies, flowers for Valentine's. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.